Firstly, I feel it's really important to ensure that you've taken some time to rest and have a break prior to starting work after your studies. Pick a start date, if possible, that allows you to take some time to relax and unwind. Most businesses will be flexible around this, so ensure that you communicate and engage to get the best outcome for both you and the business. Be prepared to ask any questions to get the information you need to feel comfortable on your first day. We often have social or training events that occur between when we confirm our interns and graduates, or developing engineers as we refer to them as, and when they start with us, which we then encourage them to attend. This allows opportunities to get to know some of the wider team before the first day of work, which can often break down nerves and barriers when you have someone to connect with when you arrive. Any connections you make prior to walking into the office on the first day will give you a level of security and comfort to avoid the unknown feeling. It's also really important to connect, ask questions and engage with the team when you arrive. We understand it's all very new, but we are here to help and support you as you start your journey with us. Finally, enjoy it. Have fun. This is the start of your professional career that you've worked so hard for throughout your time at university, and we want you to enjoy coming to work each day. It can be really daunting coming straight out of university and feeling like perhaps you don't have a lot to offer when participating in a project team. However, my advice is to back yourself and what you have learned through your studies is you may very well know something that others don't. Be confident in yourself and your abilities, but also know and acknowledge your limitations. Nobody expects you to have all the answers and a successful team relies on the input and strengths of those involved. Communication is also key. Ensure you ask questions to understand what might be asked of you so that you can deliver. Let someone know if you're struggling and need assistance so as to catch this early and avoid delays in meeting the project deadlines. Remember that we have hired you as a graduate, so we know and understand that you are coming straight from university. So that means we've hired you because of your potential, not because of your vast engineering experience. It's crucial that you ask for help or assistance to guide us in understanding where your knowledge gaps might be and how we can work with you to create a development plan to aid your learning as you progress through your career. This is not something that magically stops either. There isn't a moment when suddenly you know everything, so be prepared for a lifetime of learning from those around you. A good rule of thumb in our business is that we like our staff to have thought through the problem they have encountered and any possible solutions using their own knowledge and skills prior to engaging with others for help. This can then assist us to see and understand your thought process in coming up with that solution to understand where the gaps might be, but it also demonstrates a willingness to learn and understand the process to then bank that knowledge for your future learnings. Lastly, remember that help doesn't always have to come from your manager. Use other colleagues within the team to develop your relationships with them and build your knowledge. Often there can be more than one solution to a problem, and the diversity of thought within a team can lead to the most innovative solutions for our clients. As a professional development partner to Engineering New Zealand, we actively encourage our engineers to be members, and we pay their yearly registration fees. Often our developing engineers are student members when they start with us, and as a business we assist with transferring this over into a professional membership when they start with us. Membership of Engineering New Zealand gives our engineers access to a wide community of support throughout the various regions within New Zealand, as well as access to social networking events, technical and soft skill training courses, and a structured mentoring program. All of these aspects aid our engineers to broaden and build their personal and professional development to assist them as they set out working towards their long-term professional goals. We actively encourage our engineers to have a mentor. Until recently, Structex had facilitated an internal mentoring program in conjunction with several other local businesses. However, we now actively encourage our staff to participate in the newly formed Engineering New Zealand Mentoring Scheme. Mentors provide staff with support and guidance as they look to understand and define their career goals, as well as a key link to wider networks within the industry. The mentoring relationships provide a safe environment for our team to check in and get reassurance, as well as building confidence and communication skills as the process is driven by the graduate, therefore ensuring their commitment to the process. We find a balance of having an internal and external mentor works well for us. That is, someone who offers day-to-day mentoring on the work-related aspects, 
for our business, as well as an external mentor who is more focused on the engineer as a professional and what their goals and ambitions are. The combination works well to provide a rounded support network for our developing engineers. 